All right then, so I want to talk about one of the other layout components that Materialize ships with, and that is cards. Now, if you've used Bootstrap before, you're probably familiar with the concept of cards, but if you're not, then basically it's just a way to segment little bits of content into little bite-sized chunks, and we'll see exactly what that means in a minute. So to begin with, you can see I've already got a container at the top, then an H2, then we have this div right here with a class of row for the grid, and we have two elements inside, each with a class of col, and for small screens, they both take up 12 columns in width, so the full width, and then for large screens and up, they take up six columns in width, so just half of the page. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create two different cards here and store some different recipes inside those cards. So the way we create a card is by using three or four different classes, and I don't expect you to remember all these, but if you do want to just check out the documentation to refresh your memory when you come to use them, that's fine. I don't remember all the classes. That's not the key to learning. The key to learning is understanding and then being able to call upon that knowledge when you need to. All right. So the first step to creating a card is by creating a div with a class of card. And that there is our card now. Now, if we save it and look at this in the browser at the minute, we're not going to see anything because alone it doesn't do anything. We need to add some content into that card. So there's a few different ways we can add content. The first way I'm going to show you is by actually creating a div with a class of card hyphen content. So let's do that div.card hyphen content. And typically this is where we'd place any kind of text content, the title or a P tag, for example. So let's just do a P tag to begin with. And I've already copied some Lorem Ipsum, so I'm just gonna paste that in right there and save it. And if I preview this in a browser, now we can see this little card right here with a little drop shadow, that's quite nice, and the content inside. So all of this styling is taken care for us by Materialize, and it looks really nice. And all we've had to do is create this div with a class of card and then card content within that. All right, so let's add a title inside the card content. I'm gonna do a span this time and I'm gonna give this a class of card hyphen title. And inside here, we'll just say mango and chickpea curry. I'm just gonna create a couple of different recipe cards right here. Okay, so if we save that and view that in the browser, we can see now this gets a larger size text and it sits nicely at the top of the card. So that's looking pretty good, right? But still just a little bit boring. It would be nice if we could have, say, an image on the top and some links at the bottom. So let's do that as well. Let's create an image, first of all. Now, you could place your image inside card content right here if you wanted to, but a better way of doing this so that it's styled a little nicely is to come above the card content, but still inside the card, and then create a div right here with a class of card hyphen image, like so. And then we can place our image inside here. So I'll just do an image tag, first of all. Now you'll notice for this video, I've got a couple of images over here on the left. I've created an image folder, and we have the curry image and the pasta image. Now you can get those from my GitHub repository. The link is gonna be down below for that if you wanna save them as well. But I'm just gonna dive in here and use those images for this lesson. So the source for this image is gonna be in the image folder forward slash curry.jpg. All right, so let's save that and view this in a browser. And there we go, my friends. That is looking pretty good so far, right? So now we have our image title and we have some text and that's taken very little work to do. If I was using my own CSS, this might have taken me five or 10 minutes to style up, but now it's taken me one or two. All right, so sometimes we see links at the bottom like more info or by now. So I'm gonna show you how we can add those dudes on as well. So underneath card content, and again, if you wanted to, you could add them inside the card content, but a better way is to give them their own wrapper, and that would be a div with a class of card hyphen action. So card action is a div or an element where we can place all of our action links. So if they want to buy something or view more, etc., that's generally where those links would go. So let's create a couple of links, anchor tags, uh, the href doesn't need to go anywhere. And inside here, we'll say more details. And then down below, we'll do another anchor tag. And this one can say, I don't know, view ingredients. Okay, so save that and view that in a browser. 
And now we can see these things at the bottom as well. That is looking pretty nice. All right then, so I think what I'll do is just show you one little extra thing we can do. I'm just zooming in and out here to just get the best perspective for you. And that is to show you a nice little favorite icon right here. So say for example, we wanted to favorite this recipe, we could click a little icon right here to add that to our favorites. So let's go to the image because that's roughly where this favorite button is gonna be inside this card image. And what I'm gonna do is use a floating button right here. So remember, those floating buttons were the circular ones with a little icon inside. So let's create an anchor tag to create that button. The href goes nowhere, but we'll give this a class, and that class is gonna be equal to btn and floating. We want to create a floating button. Now we'll create this pink, and we'll also make it pulse. And inside, what we want to do is create an icon. So we'll say i and give that a class equal to material, oops, material icons. And the icon that I would like to do is gonna be a favorite. Okay, so if we save that and view it in a browser, then we can now see this thing right here, but it sits underneath the image. Now, ideally, I'd like to position this thing right here over on the right, halfway between the image and halfway between the white space below. So it kind of borders both of them. I think that would look nice. And there's a seriously easy way we can do this in Materialize because Materialize knows that a lot of people like to do this kind of thing. So the way we do that is just by giving this thing over here a class called Halfway Fab. And Fab stands for Floating Action Button. Halfway just means basically halfway between this container and the one below. So if we save that now, we're gonna see this float halfway between the image and the space below, and that is looking pretty awesome. That has taken next to no work whatsoever. All right then, so let's just finish this off by creating another card, and all I'm gonna do is copy this stuff right here, and I'm gonna paste it down below inside here, and just scoot it back a little bit. All right, so now I'd like to change this thing right here to pasta, so we can use the other image instead. We'll also change the title right here, and we'll change that to Rainbow Pasta Salad. Save it and check this out in a browser. And now we can see both of those next to each other. Very simple to do and very effective as well. So that there, my friends, is cards.